All of the 14 Muslims who were detained in connection to an alleged terror plot to disrupt carnival celebrations have been released and are seeking legal recourse against the state. Activist and leader of the Islamic Front, Umar Abdullah, said, while 12 out of the persons were not charged, two, however, are facing gun-related charges. Charlene Lewis reports. Speaking on behalf of the 14 Muslims who were released after being detained for nearly a week as investigations into an alleged carnival terror plot continued, head of the Islamic Front, Omar Abdullah, confirmed that legal action will be taken soon against the state. This plot to disrupt carnival was an absolute false flag. And the individuals who was arrested and taken into custody and detained and their rights and privileges taken away from them, brutally taken away from them. We are contemplating filing a class action suit against the government. Among the 14 who are seeking to sue the state for wrongful detention are three imams and one female. They are Imam Idu, Fahim, Yasin, Mustafa, Abdul Salam Ali, Alicia, Adel, Imam Shahid Rahim, Ishmael Eddy Alia Young, Javed, Arsad, Tariq Mohammed, Fawaz, and Isa Mohammed. The Islamic Front leader said he hopes that when the state is served, it will serve as a lesson to them. And how important it is for us to make right choices and right decisions for our people. And if the government continues along this path, and the Prime Minister continues to give answers without thinking, as he have done in the Parliament yesterday, in addition to the detention of the 14 Muslims, there were reports of several mosques also being raided. On Thursday, following the end of carnival celebrations, Minister of National Security Edmund Dillon, the Attorney General Faris Alwari, and the Acting Commission of Police met with members of the Muslim community who said they believe due process would take place. Charlene Lewis, C News.